welcome back in this video we will be exploring the form component of end design if you have not seen the end design integration video i have added the link in the eye icon and in the description below please have a look okay so let's import form and we will be needing input and we will be needing the button okay so let's set a form and in the form uh, let's have three items in the form first one you can say username name as username and that will be an input with the placeholder username and let's format a little bit and let's copy this to for the password and then for the, the submit button let's try to uh, implement a form for the login screen so form the item and label could be the password here and the name should be password and the placeholder you can say password and input will be a input dot password it is int okay and the third item is a button so let's say the button name is login and its type is primary and its HTML type is submit and okay so let's save and see how so it's very simple to implement a form and let's make the this one at the full width I have add with the block and it will make it the full width we have a separate video on implementation or exploring of the buttons and exploring of the of uh, the input so i have i will be adding the dis, uh, links in the dis description so please have a look for details okay so now pressing login uh, we, we can make these fields as the required one so input we can type the requires and this one is also required okay so now if i press it it is a please fill out this field so suppose i pass a username and pass in the password and on given it shows the password all right okay so what we want is on pressing the, uh, the login button uh, it should give us all the values which are which are filled in these fields so for that on the form we will add a function for the on finish on finish so let's create a function cost on finish and for now let's just console whatever is passed here okay and let me open the console so if you log in it is passing username and password so if i change it to abc so it is showing username is abc and password the user has entered and similarly in, in the same manner you can add any component here in, in the form and the checkboxes the radio buttons the drop downs or anything even the, the date pickers and 
you will be able to get the values in the on finish and you can from these values you can send those in the api calls to the backend or save in the db and whatever you want to do with those values so so that is the concept for using the form okay so that's it for the form if you have any question please let me know in the comments below and in the next video we will pick another topic so stay tuned see you there thank you for watching